Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in to the WBM Podcast. This is one of your hosts, it's your boy Merch. You know what this is. This is Kapo. And this is your boy Tico and the man. And the man, Guys, do we have an amazing episode lined up for you today. We have somebody you may know. His name is Lord Death from Soul Leader. From, you already know, Crocodile from One Piece. From My Hero Academia, all for one. Guys, we're talking about the man, the myth, the legend, John Swenson. <laughs> guys, it's going to be an amazing episode. We're not going to wait any further, so here we go. You guys ready? Ready. Let's go. Thank you. Dude, great, guys, like we said, we have you. John Swenson. John, go ahead and say hi to the people for us. Hey, everybody. How you doing? I just want to say thanks for having me on the WBM podcast here. And uh, I just want to say great theme music, man. Hello? John, are you still there? Yeah. Can you see me? Hello? What's going on here? We might have disconnected. Hello? Or oh, it's a pretty big lag. It's, just, it's just uploading. Uh, what's going on? In the top corner. Yeah, we see. Hello? Technical difficulty, guys. <laughs> now, what's going on? Yeah. It just, it just froze for us. Hello? Oh, no. We try again. Should we start again? The hell? Should we come in and out? Mm -hmm. Hello? Yes. Yeah. What happens if we just stop the recording? Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, my God. That's so it's bad. okay. I was going to start with Daisy Confused. Yeah, when this happens, he's just about to come back in. Okay. It was working fine there for mm -hmm. a minute. I don't know what happened. You should be patient with it. Okay. And check the, the Instagram chat. I waited on a notification. I haven't got anything yet. Okay, it's okay. Hello? Can you hear me? I got this option. Hello? Right oh. <laughs> We're back. Can you hear me? Hey, John. Crowd. Yeah, it's yes. a slight Dude, lag, I don't know but we what can happened. hear you. Yes, sir. I don't know what's going on. Yes, I don't know what's I going you. on. I can, can you hear us, John? Man. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Okay. So there's just a delay. Yes. Eh, I mean, it's not that bad. Just a little bit. Okay. It's getting a lot better. There's something in my window that's a percentage of something. I don't know what it's doing. Oh, it's like uh, like the uploading one. It's the oh, same thing yeah. that we have on our side. Yeah. 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 It's uh, yeah. Oh, it's working fine now. Yeah. I now it's see you fine. Okay. Yeah. There's no lag in it. Well. So, well. Well, I guess it just took a second. <laughs> <laughs> You're oh, it, told me, it told me to do it. Sure. There's that better. It, yes, it told me to do it. Uh, uh, landscape. So I did, but y'all didn't change this time. So we'll just leave it like. If it's working, let's just leave it like this. Oh, I'm sure we can edit it that later. All right. So yeah, hello. I lost you again. Okay. No worries. I think we should. We'll still make it work for yeah, you. That's can... all right. We're sorry oh. if we're sideways. Yeah. yeah. I just lost your sorry picture. About that. There we go. Yep. Am I still sideways? All right. All right. So let's start over from the <laughs> okay. We'll just cut right after the music. Yeah. Okay. All right. And okay, John, if you want to go into the Hey, everybody. How you doing? It's your old pal, John Swayze. Glad to be here. And uh, cheers. Seriously, don't tell me it's not working. Yeah. I don't I don't know what this is, man. I don't know what's going on. Uh, mm. uh, there you okay. go. You're now now y'all are back. I mean, it, it says I've got a decent connection. Okay. Okay. Well, we can we can push through. Yeah. Uh, if that's okay with you, we'll, we'll make it work, yeah, John. Yeah. Again, we don't want to waste any of your valuable time. Sorry, know that, that. That yeah, you, I don't that know. I don't know what the. I don't know what to say. I mean, I, we could reschedule it, or I don't know, but I don't know if it's going to get any better. Let's, let's find out. Yeah. All right. So uh, one more time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead, John. Would you mind just saying hey, hi, everybody? To how you us? doing? It's your old pal, John Swayze, the voice of Crocodile, the voice of All for One, the voice of Lord Death, the Lord undertaker and so many more hohenheim uh wait just glad to be here Woo. just want to raise a little glass cheers hey, oh, salute salute salute, <laughs> salute all right john john if you don't mind us getting started one if you mind starting in your early works when you first started uh we did a little bit of a homework so you started back in the day with dazed and confused could you kind of share with us your your original uh what how you started from the origins one of your first oh my gosh credits. well uh <laughs> My my uh, very first film that I ever did was a movie I did with Willie Nelson uh, called Paris. Yeah. Wow. And uh, 
was I was on set for about three weeks and about a week and a half into it, um, started uh, to make my inroads onto the bus. And so uh, <laughs> I'll never forget uh, my buddy Kim came up from Houston and I took him out to the set to meet Willie. And I said, this is my buddy oh. Kim and Kim grows his own weed. You got time to smoke a joint? <laughs> and Willie goes, you know, John, there's always time to smoke a joint. So, oh, that's great. That's What a story, man. John, you came yeah. in with the heavy hitters yeah. already. Sounds like Willie. Yeah. Yeah. Like that, was, that was a lot of fun, man. But anyway, we uh, then I worked on, uh, yeah, I did Days to Confused in the 90s. And uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, and uh, then about 97... Uh, started doing anime in Houston at a company called ADV Films, which is now called Sentai Filmworks. And uh, I didn't really know anything about anime. I didn't know what it was. I was like, you know, to me, it was just another acting gig. Okay. Do you recall your first ever uh, try um, oh, audition? Do you, do you recall your first? It was Could absolutely you share, share with us? I went in. I went in an audition. I was already making a living as a voice actor and an actor actor here in Houston. And I was doing pretty well. And uh, I went into audition and they, they said like, okay, so what you do is here's your script, you know, and then uh, you're going to look at the monitor and, and uh, you're going to watch the video. And when you hear, you got headphones on, when you hear the Japanese actor start to talk, that's your cue to start saying the lines on the script. And I was like, okay. And so they said, okay, here we go. And they're like, okay. three, two, one, and record. And I was just like, and they're like, oh, John, no, 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 no. nothing came you gotta, out. You got to say the lines. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Let's try it again. Three, two, one, record. And I was like, and they said, dude, you got to say the lines. I'm like, when? When do I say them? So I, I, they, they were like, thanks a lot. And I, I left and I sat in my for about 10 oh. minutes and I went back inside and I said, guys, I know I can do better. Could I try it again? And they said, yeah. And I had to wait till the end of the day because other people were there, you know, I had to wait till they were done. And, uh, I went in and, and literally they were like, okay, when you hear the Japanese, I said, I got it, man. When I hear the <laughs> yeah, they started, you know, I'm watching three, two, one record. And the minute I heard the Japanese, I was just like, look at everybody. Come on. We got to run back. I started it and and they were like, "That was great. Can you come in Tuesday?" <laughs> I was like, "So," I, wow. and I so worked wow. on a show called "Played the Role of the in the show. I've never seen it, but it's an oldie. It's an oldie. And then I I, yeah. I worked for uh, for it's a little risky for years, <laughs> for three or four years, four five, maybe four or five years. And then I started working as a director and uh, they had kind of a, a mm. uh, they kind of folded for a little bit and regrouped and I left and was working also at Funimation as an actor and um, doing things like Dragon Ball and Soul Leader and Full Metal and stuff like that. And then uh, uh, I had, I came back to direct and I was a contractor. So I'd come on for a little while and leave, come back. Thing. And about, right. uh, Wow. In hindsight, did you get an idea it was going to grow this big no, anime as you got more involved with more characters? Um, Chapo, wow. that was, I was like, I had no idea it would grow into this. None of us did. I mean, none of it was such a niche market to begin with and to see how it's grown up into yeah. what it is, you know. Um, so now I work at Sentai as a director. Uh, I work full time as a director, voice actor, and I do about 44 to 45 conventions a year. Wow, it, it that's has insane! Literally, really? has become my career, the whole anime thing, and I love it. I'm very grateful for it. It's 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 amazing. My daughter does it now. She's a voice actor, um, uh, and, you know, and it, and you know, it's amazing just to see how prolific it's prolific it has become, because now, you know, when when you tell people like I used to go like they go what what is anime, and I'm like, well. Japanese animation, <laughs> and it's like everything from Hello Kitty to Hello. <laughs> and, That's right. 
and, <laughs> and so uh, but true. now you know it's gotten so popular you know I, you know i'm a big deal at my kid's school uh my i mean hell i'm at my accountant's office right now and his kids love anime and you know, it's just it's amazing <laughs> yeah. we, we have the pleasure to admit you in several uh cons <laughs> it's amazing yeah, and you always been so nice to me. Thank you so much for sharing your time with us every moment that yeah. you've, you've You always give you. us like a five, ten minutes and talk to us. So it's always been great meeting you at cons. And, you know, that being said, John, we're actually super curious. Is there ever a con that you've gone to that you just had like this outrageous interaction with somebody and it's been like super memorable that's just stayed oh, with you for yeah. years? Yeah, so I, I do a story. Uh, one of the panels I do is called Con Horror Stories. And it's... It's not it's not about bad conventions. It's just about all the weird shit that's happened to me. <laughs> like I had time I was at a convention and I was signing autographs and this guy comes up in this giant mech cosplay. I can't see his face. He just comes walking up like <laughs> and he, he leans into me and he goes I don't care what anybody says. I'm your number one fan, and I'm about to go fanboy on you. And I was like, what the hell does that mean, man? But it's <laughs> fine. Yeah, it, it's been, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun, you know. I've just, they've all had moments uh, that have, you know, I, I, I should really, because uh, when I do this panel, it's like a stand-up routine. I should I should videotape it and then put it online. Well, absolutely. I'm 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 gonna, that's like special. That's <laughs> like it's great, like it's funny. <laughs> Just going back real quick, uh, throughout your experience in voice acting, I'm curious to know, was there ever a character you wish you could go back and maybe change it up? Every one, spice of, every one of them. Oh. I feel like that's something about an actor, right? Like, you don't always have it down a hundred percent. You always feel like there's room for you improvement. You are not wrong Am at I all. Wrong? Um, Merck, you're 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 spot on. Uh, which is oh. 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 <laughs> right, that's true. Mm -hmm. Guy. You know, I, I have seen that from some actors where they comment, you know, if you do a play for, man, there you go, join them. <laughs> when when some actors are on stage for, for weeks or months doing the same character over and over again, by the time they've done their last acting gig or their last attempt at the character, they feel like they've really honed in on something versus voice acting. You don't have very much time. The, we learned by going to your con, the that Anime Houston, that cold reading or a thing where you just get a script and you're like, go. And there's no nothing to go off of. Go Cougs. Go Cougs. <laughs> <laughs> right mm -hmm. yeah Oh. Yeah. Mm. 
Right. That's true. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Right. right. Yeah, Ratchet of the Legends. <laughs> Not every gotcha. character is Hello Kitty or Mickey gotcha. Mouse, right? Uh, yeah. True. No, please. Yeah, that's the yeah, one and only. I don't need another crocodile. I have crocodile. Give me somebody. Yeah. That's great, man. And you know, that's so interesting, John, because I, I'm an aspiring voice actor. It's something that I want to do. But I, before I get my feet wet into this whole environment, I, I've spoken to several voice actors and you guys have, have definitely instilled in me, take acting classes. You can't just go in there and think you're going to do this. What I love was that at, your, at the convention that you hosted for Anime Houston, you actually gave people the opportunity to go and sit down with the director and an audio engineer and do a, a script read, a cold line read. And even the director was nice enough to say, okay, this is your character's motivation. This is already a dubbing. You know the voices are going to match up. Yeah. This is easy. We're handing it to you at this point. Yeah. And some people still struggled. I myself, I, I think I did great, sure. But I mean, to somebody else, I did terrible. You know? Yes. So it's the, the time codes are something to worry about. Matching the lip flaps is another thing to worry about. Acting like an actor is, is a whole other thing, too. Oh, um, yeah, mm -hmm. true. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. Yeah. Oh. That's true. That's <laughs> 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 the conversation. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
What can I? Right. Yeah. You know the archetypes. <laughs> right, right. Leader. <laughs> the best. One of the best villains, yes, sir. <laughs> Yeah. Right, man. Right. No, yeah, absolutely. You also did movies, right? Anime movies as well. Is there any other characters, or maybe in video games like Borderlands, a character that stood out to you that you you wish people saw more, but they may not be familiar? Oh, I've seen that one. That's, that's a classic a one. one. Yeah, that's a really that's good. A one. One. He time traveled to that world and learns martial art. I love that movie. That's a good one. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, the goat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yeah, you're right. Not a lot of people know it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a really good movie. John, can I ask you, so you've already said you got two decades in the business at this point. Was there any character that really gave you a challenge? Three decades. I Get it right, bro. Three, <laughs> Three decades. Come on, bro. Get it right, Three bro. decades <laughs> you've been in this business. Has there been a character so far that's, that's really stumped you or given you a challenge, whether it be within vocal range or like the emotional depth of trying to get into that character? <laughs> that's true gotcha see you next year <laughs> yeah Mm. Uh -huh. oh. He's better like a one-liner kind of character, just dropping one line and moving on instead of a whole. Okay. Yeah, like plug and play, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Oh, <laughs> a fight or something. Oh, a grudge. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh. Ah. Ah, that's, that's so cool. Like yeah, it. I never thought about that. Yeah. Because that's always something that's kind of like been in the back of my mind of how do they do the you know, yeah, like, the fighting sound. Yeah, yeah, like the getting stabbed by a poison pin, as an example. Like, <laughs> what's that sound effect sound like, you know? So another question that Peter Mommy asking was, so you've been an ADR director for, for years now. I don't want to even give you a time frame. You've been for years <laughs> now. I'll get it wrong this time. So um, at this point, do you feel like there's any part of that that's influenced your voice acting in an anime, as, as a, for example? Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gosh. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I can see that it could yeah. cause some problems. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I like that. Yeah, that's... Gotcha. Gotcha. I imagine every actor that comes in. Mm -hmm. Right. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, slow down. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And your directing, your directing style must be different for every voice actor that comes in. I'm guessing you get Lucy Christian in, you know, you just let her do her thing. But then there's some voice actors that you got to coach a little bit. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Okay, that's new. Yeah. Yeah, some people never know, yeah. And, and speaking about influences and director, when you guys listen to the original audio of how it sounded in Japan, how much influence does it have as a director? And do you have any like leeway to play around with some other thoughts and ideas? Oh, wow. Mm. Okay. Um. Right. Right. Mm. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. True, yeah. John, we also, I, I don't mean to cut you off. I apologize. Um, but we were totally curious. So you've done obviously these great shows like uh, Soul Leader and One Piece. Are, for these in, shows in particular, do you have like any cool behind the, uh, behind the scenes stories that you can share with us of like making the voice of Crocodile or coming up with the voice of Lord Death, for example? <laughs> mm -hmm. ah. Yes. Oh, wow. Scratch. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> no. Hmm. Right. Mm. right. True. Yeah, true. Yeah, because you're you're totally right. I I go back and I I'm I'm rewatching one piece with one of my friends, and we they, we've got to the Alabasta saga at this point for us. And I hear you as Crocodile here. And then I've already seen Impel Down. Um, so when I hear you coming out of, hey there, straw hat, like that that straw hat that you give is so iconic because I think to the Japanese, how that Mugiwara, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> and I'm like, that is a progression of your voices made over those years. And it's like, 
I didn't think about it at first, but now when you say it, I'm like, damn, he did grow over that time. That's so amazing. Um, you know, next thing you want to hop into, John, if that's all right uh, with yes. you, is Eminence and Shadows. Eminence and Shadows. <laughs> we got a chance to meet Olivia, Annie, and Adam Gibbs. We actually met Adam Gibbs this past weekend at Bedrock City Con. Yeah. He was, yeah, he was he was awesome to talk to and he he loved to geek out. I am show. Atomica. <laughs> oh man, it was amazing. Why would I run? You know, these lines. <laughs> um Season three came out. It just yes. came out, man. It's such a great story, and I feel like uh, you made the voices like like all the acting is so authentic. Absolutely. Yeah. Not only is it like action based comedy, like you hit everything. Like I'm laughing just as much as I'm like invested in the character development. Yes. Yeah. 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 Unhinged. <laughs> the crowbar. Hmm. Right. Yeah. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We again, we love that you guys are getting the chance to do a simulcast. That's huge news, you know. Simuldub. Simuldub. I apologize. Yes, yeah, simuldub. That's great, man. How much more complex is that compared to like the original works? No. All right. They dropped today. Today's Wednesday. <laughs> Episode two dropped today. Yes. <laughs> Love box. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. That's very cool. Okay. Can I ask you, John, was was the Eminence of Shadow something that just came across your desk, something that you heard about? You're like, hey, I'm interested in this. Let me get a, a stab at it. Like, how does that work for you out of curiosity? Oh, wow. Okay. So it's cool that you, you... <laughs> well, it's a great thing that it was something that you really love and that you fell in love with and that you're really proud of. As a matter of fact, we were wondering, would you mind if we went ahead and show the, the teaser trailer for season two? Okay, let's bring it up. All right, guys, here's Eminence of Shadow, season two season trailer. Season two. It should be loading now. It's perfect. They've already announced that this time the boss is a super powerful vampire. <laughs> it's a pretty rare opportunity. Maybe I'll make an extra flashy entrance. Drink the hell, Crimson Tower. <laughs> then we're heading in the <laughs> same direction. I love the music. Too. The frenzy has begun. I got high down. <laughs> oh yeah, we got high down. We got high down. We got high down. <laughs> yeah. Too much of a cup of coffee, right, John? Just too much of a cup of coffee. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. I shot a whiskey. There you go. <laughs> Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, okay. It's very cool, man. It's exciting. Not Why not? Not? <laughs> it's a, he's a vampire. He has to be British. Exactly. He's lived forever at this point, you know? <laughs> <laughs> 
It's exciting to see season two, all these new characters that are coming in. You, I mean, you get to direct so many new voice actors in season two. Oh, that happens a lot. Being a director, you got a lot of pull, huh? You, you must get people like, hey, John. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, we love the show. It's, and it's exciting to see that Claire Kagan is going to get, like, it seems like she's going to get a bigger role. So that looks cool. Oh, you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. A <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Rose. Rose. Princess Rose. Mm. Yes, I love that. It's so exciting to see what the season has. Been. <laughs> they make it happen. We hope that you get to stay. There's, there's enough story. The light novels. I mean, you had, there's a lot more story in the light novels. Absolutely, you never know. Yo, that is so cool. That's a great idea. He's picking up. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. You gotta rewatch the whole thing. Yeah. 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 We're rooting for you, John. Like we said, those. He's the one that got me into a medicine shadow. This so guy, I, like, I need to catch up. Yeah. So yes. I knocked it all in. Absolutely. So it, it does happen. It does happen. I read the light novel. Yeah. I haven't got a chance. Yeah. 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 Right. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can see. I can see them making more. One hundred. I mean, the quality of the show is so good. Oh yeah, you can see it. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, on well, you know, just pushing forward a little bit, John. We are really excited that we have another con of yours that's coming up very, very soon, November. How, Thanksgiving weekend. Thanksgiving weekend. Thanksgiving weekend. Anime Dallas. Anime Dallas. <laughs> Another character, Suki, Tai Lee, and Mei. Yeah, she both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you just mount it, John, we'll, we'll, we'll put it in the post. We'll add it in post. We'll add it in post. <laughs> oh, wow. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely right. That's right. right here, folks. I love that that's something you considered the fans more than anything else. I love what you said at uh, Anime Houston of. We're not trying to break the bank to get you guys to come in here. We know there are things you want to buy. Keep it affordable. Yeah, and you and the VIP was really worth it, man. You made that experience like, you know. Worth it. Yeah. It really was, John. Always going to happen. We're shooting for 20 for you, John. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> 
Absolutely. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, but uh, we really enjoyed our time. Again, the, the voice acting booth. We learned so much more about the anime business on the back end as far as what the audio engineers yeah. do, what the cold calling is, some exercises you can even do. If you think you want to be a voice actor, these are some things you can try out. I love that because I don't feel like that side of the business gets enough love or it doesn't get enough shine on it. And I'm so happy that you did that because like I said, for me being an aspiring voice actor, these things were all, I, I took it in like a sponge, man. So yeah. again, I, I, I love that you've done that and yes. I continue to do more of it because it's something that everybody can walk away from. And, right? and I, as a civilian, I, I don't, <laughs> I, I appreciate y'all like everything that it takes to become a voice actor because you guys presented to me what it really takes uh, seeing, you know, the action behind the scenes, I maybe appreciate it even more as as a, as an audience member. Like, thank you so much for all this. Yeah, you can see that it's not as easy as it looks. Facts. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> true. Do you all want to bring up uh, before we finish it? Uh, if you want to talk about Tunnel to Summer, the movie that's coming out, it's going to have a theatrical release that's November right. 3rd. That's right. That's right. Just a cup of coffee. coffee. That's coffee. it. <laughs> well, you guys did something special when recording. Hot damn. He's right, boys. Cheers. I know, <laughs> I, I know we talked to Olivia and y'all did something special when recording the tunnel movie uh, because uh, you got the main, two main characters to come in and record lines at the same time. Mm -hmm. Wow. 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 Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, that is amazing. And it's released, what, this November 3rd? 3rd. November 3rd. Make sure you guys can look so out for that. So make sure you guys keep an eye out for that. Um, Check it out on High Dive. <laughs> 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 well, John, before we wrap up this interview, would you mind telling the people where they can find you on your social media? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you do. That's right. Because we do. follow you. Follow you. Yeah. <laughs> and the same. This has been your boy, Mark. Make sure you guys are following us on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, all at WBM underscore podcast. Once again, this is Chapo. John, thank you so much. You can follow Amazon Music, Spotify, all that jazz. Stop.
And again, huge shout out and thank you to John Swayze for coming on and spending us this time with us. Thank you, John. John, any final words? All right, guys. Well, we'll catch you on the next one. We'll see you next time. We're out here. Peace. I you know it's not. <laughs> I left the tequila downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. I think we're thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. John. You Thank amazing. you. This was so much. I, I'm still. I, I can't keep my cheeks down. Like I'm just, <laughs> this isn't fake smiles. It's all real love. I yes, promise I you. <laughs> so, uh, uh, please. Oh, hey, we wanted to kind of. We had an idea for your next convention, Anime Dallas. I know you guys set up the uh, voice acting recording booth, but we had this idea if we could do something like that, but set up like a podcast studio, like multiple microphones, headsets, where people could come in and like you know, put on the headsets and listen to their own voice and just riff on anime. It'll be all about anime. You and we can send you an email with details. Yeah. You like, I mean, if you're interested. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. Oh my yes. 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 Okay. You know, standing in front of the, reading the script, like a lot of people like got scared and backed out. Like right? I did. I yeah. panicked. Yeah. But in a, in a more informal setting where they could just go on and like improvise, that'll make it more comfortable. Yes, we'd yes. love to do that. Pretty much. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, we'll guys. take care of it right now, John. We'll send it shortly then. Thank you so much, John. We appreciate the Thank opportunity. Thank you for your time. You. Thank you so much for this. You have a great night. Salute. Cheers. We'll catch you on the next Cheers. one, buddy. Next time, bring my tequila. <laughs> I got you. All right, man. Bye. Ciao. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. yes, sir. Well, we're in Houston. We're in Houston, so like uh, for sure. We'll probably get. Um, a, I know it's at a hotel up in Dallas, so yeah. we're already gonna book a room. Yeah, yeah to be honest, yeah, to be do, honest. Uh, but if there's anything that you can throw our way, we'd be more than happy. Yeah, <laughs> we'll bring it all gear. Thank you, John. You got it. Awesome. Thank you so much, John. We'll send the email right now. Yeah, we'll compose something to send it over right now. Thank you, sir. Cheers. Talk to you shortly. Cheers. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Hang on. Let, let Oscar do it. Yeah, yeah. He's already out.